Hello, my name is Misa. I'm a counselor at the counseling service. Today, I want to talk about motivation. I often hear, I know I have to study, but I don't want to do it. I don't have a motivation. It is very common problem college students have. And then I want you to ask yourself, do you know where to start? Are you overwhelmed? If it's the case, first let's talk to your professor, teaching assistant, advisor, and then just openly, honestly ask help. And then they are happy to help you how to pick it up again. Another question is, are you tired or sick? If it's the case, maybe you need to take care of yourself. Do you need sleep? I would recommend no matter how busy you are, sleep midnight to 6 a.m. Actually, this is the golden hour of the sleep. I know some people prefer to stay up, but would you be open-minded and then try this? And do you need healthy food? Food is very important. I want you to have uh, three things in your food, carbo, protein, vegetable, and fruits. Okay? Always, always eat these three things in your meal. That's going to help you to keep your energy going. And do you need exercise? Especially this COVID time, we are not moving. We are not designed to be just sitting in the room all day long. So let's get out and start walking 15 minutes. That's a good exercise. And then when you get used to, you can exercise from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. That's enough. Okay, whatever you like to do, uh, please try to exercise. You can refresh and then actually be able to focus better. So you are actually saving time. You're not wasting time. Do you need medication or medical attention? We have to pay attention to our body and listen to it. Okay, if you need to talk to doctor, that's a good idea. And also, of course, we, you can talk to us, counselor. Are you curious to know yourself? Can you step out from your thoughts? Like uh, looking at yourself into the mirror. Can you be kind to yourself like a best friend? Are you compassionate to yourself? We tend to be very kind to other people, but very harsh to ourselves. So please try to be kind and compassionate to yourself. Can you laugh about yourself? That's actually healthy. If you're stuck, let's give a look to your thoughts. Is it fact? Is it real? If it's fantasy you created, did you write the worst case scenario for yourself? So it's good to take a look at. Would you accept? Do you know you can't change other people? Sometimes we try. Do you accept yourself even you are not perfect at this time? I'm not. I'm not perfect. Would you accept what you're feeling even if it's painful? Where it hurts, something important is hiding. What is priority in here and now? What's happening now, not in the past? Or please don't try to fly to the future. You have to wait. You will get there. Let's stick here and now. What you need to focus on now. What can you do for yourself now? Let's sit on your thoughts and emotions. Why am I doing this? Why did I start college? Why I choose this major? What's my goal? What's important for me? What I can't give up? Who am I? What I'm feeling? Make a difference for yourself. Then, after you sit on your thoughts and emotions, make a difference for yourself. Take a little step for what's important for you at this time, a small step. And then I want you to remember when you are hurt, aches, you can still carry on what's important for you. 
If you'd like to talk about more, please give us a call, counseling service, or make an appointment from your health portal. I'm looking forward to have a good conversation with you. Thank you for listening.